concept of, man, head can be an extremely powerful defensive weapon, but it also can be an offensive setup just if I use it long enough. So hands are home, defense putting hands on me, I feel a level, I drop my butt. He penetrates, hands hit, and I start to circle. Now, as I start to circle and I'm moving my feet, I want you to think about looking into his neck. Now, he level changes, I level change. He shoots, hands hit, and see how I'm starting to look into him a little bit. Now this starts creating a nice angle for me. All I want you to do is down block, look in, make him look away, and then just take whatever shot feels good to you right now, all right? Again, we don't get style points. So if I can wrap them up and put them down, okay, out of his shot, don't worry about getting too fancy with your hands. I'm focused on stopping the penetration, protecting my legs, creating an angle, and looking for an attack, okay? Don't worry about what it looks like, okay? Worry about what it feels like and what your instincts are telling you right now, and then we can clean it up from there and troubleshoot from there. So he puts hands on the closest distance. He takes a shot, come on here, make him look away. But I'm into him, okay? I don't want this guy backing up. I'm gonna stay into this guy. He shoots, boom, right here, I'm into him. It might be high crotch for me. It might be cross attack for some of you guys. Hands on, he shoots, boom. Might be cross attack for some of you guys. Okay, I'm on some of you low level attack guys. Okay, but head's in the way, hands are down. You can bring your hands up and attack and chop and drag and all that stuff. Don't get too fancy with it, okay? The more I, the more I grab, and do a bunch of hand fighting, the longer that attack takes to develop for me. And when I'm counter attacking, I want a pretty quick hit. All right, so again, butt down. I'm just squatting, squatting. Hands are helping my chest not get forward. These things aren't very good defensive weapons, okay? This is the defensive weapon. The hands just keep my chest in a good spot to circle up so I can get back into an attack position. Like I said, if I just put my hands down in front of me, he's just gonna blow me away. Okay, so one more time. He's closing distance on me. He's pressuring into me. He's shooting into me. I'm trying to hold my ground and create an angle. So he's attacking and boom, here, like here. And I'm looking to attack, okay? Maybe, maybe you chop and drag. Whatever feels good to you, but I want a quick hit. I want a quick hit. Any questions? All right? So, so we pull short offense. Yeah, if, if you want to pull short offense, I'm okay with that. But again, my hands have to come up pretty, pretty high and effectively to get that snap down. Because if Ethan's shooting, okay, he puts his hands on me, he level change, he's shooting that down block, I'm going to have to come back up, get some good handles to get him to the mat. I'm not saying you can't, but. In this exchange, more than likely, getting under their chin is going to be easier, okay? If they take a bad shot and their chest is out over their toes, put their face to the floor, okay? Well, I also got to worry about that myself. He might shoot and snap me down if my chest gets too far out over my toes in my defense. That's why we put our hands on the mat to down block so we can get our hips back up under. Here, this is in good position. I can get snapped down pretty easy. So that's why my hands are on the mat to circle back up. Hips under my body. Go. Figure out.